everyone and welcome to our Friday's Power Maths. Now we're going to start off today with one of my favourites, Five Little Men in a Flying Saucer. Five little men in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. They looked left and right but they didn't like the sight so one man flew away. Whoosh. Five, take away one. It's four. Four little men in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Four, take away one, is three. Three little men in the flying saucer flew round the earth one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Three, take away one, is two. Two little men in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Two, take away one, is one. One little man in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. He looked left and right, but he didn't like the sight, so he then flew away. Whoosh! Oh, fantastic. We kept taking away that one each time until we got to zero. Brilliant. Now, today we are on to our challenge because we are doing so well with our cherry diagram and looking at it from lots of different angles. Now, you do have a sheet in your pack today. It looks just like this. And we're going to come to that in a minute because I've made another one that's very similar. But we're going to use this one to, to talk about it, to discuss it. And then you can have a go at the one in your pack after the clip. So let me show you this cherry diagram. Here it is. So I've got apples, they're meant to be. <laughs> so I've got one, two, I've got two apples here. And I've got one, two, three, three apples here. And I've got one two, three, four, five apples here. Now my question is, what is the whole? Hmm. Now we can move it around any way we want to. Doesn't matter if they're upside down, back to front. But I need to work out what the whole is. So which ones are my two parts and which ones are my holes? So let's have an experiment. I'm going to say that this one is my whole, which means these two must be my parts. So I'm going to work it out. So I'm going to have my counters on top. One, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. Then so five is my part and two is my part. So I'm going to push them together to make my whole. So I've got five and I've got two. So if I put my biggest one there first, five, put that in my head, five, six, seven. But how many apples have I got drawn? I've only got three drawn, but I've got seven altogether. So that one can't be my whole. So let me try the next one. I'm going to say this one's my whole. So I need three for my apples here. And one, two, three, four, five as my part here. So I've got five and I've got three. So I'm saying this one is my whole. Before I even move them, how many are in my whole? two. So if I move this part, I've already got too many, haven't I? Hmm, so that can't be my hole. Let's try again. What if this is my hole? So let's have a look. This is my part, one, two, and one, two, three. So I've got two as my part and three as my part. And I wonder if that makes my hole. So I need my biggest number first, three, four, five. <gasps> Ah, ha, ha, ha. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> we found it. So this is my part two. This is my part three. And together they make my whole five. So from using my counters and moving them around, I've managed to work out which one my whole is. Exciting, hey? So in your packs 
today, you have got this one. They're little buzzy bees. And it wants you to know, well, it wants to ask you, which one is the hole? Now, one girl says, I think that four is the hole. And this boy says, I think that 10 is the hole. Hmm. So think about what these two are asking you. And let me know if you think they are right or if they are wrong. You can put a tick by them if you think they're right or a cross by them if you think they're wrong. And then I would like you to have a go using your counters on top, working out which one is the whole and which two are the parts. And then can you tick whichever one you think is the whole? And then I'll be able to see if you worked it out correctly. So this is today's challenge. Now on a Friday, I know we all get tired. And maths is the last thing, isn't it, on a Friday? So that's all we're doing today. I would like you to have a go with this challenge to see if you can work out which one to hold. If you can look at the picture and without using the counter, say straight away, I know that one's the whole, then we wow, we wow, you're extremely clever. But even if you can do that, I would still like you to prove that you're right by using the counters because there may be a chance you might be wrong. So have a go with your counters on top, move them around and then see if you can answer the girls and the boys question. Good luck and please let me know on Dojo how you get on. Enjoy your story and then have a fabulous weekend. Bye.